York, the obscure 1952 Frank Sinatra movie in which he signs up for much more than he bargained for and is ultimately portrayed by those supposed to protect him is surprisingly apropos tonight, giving its title, Meet Danny Wilson. Our fifth story in the countdown, Meet Valerie Wilson. Today, as Republican anger over the newest White House scandal, Gonzalez Gate, continued to build and one network reported his firing was now inevitable. The CIA operative at the heart of what is probably Mr. Bush's most enduring scandal told Congress how the administration blew her cover and ruined her career. Gonzalez ahead, first Valerie Wilson, the outed intelligence officer telling her side of the story for the first time today, nearly four years after she went from being an unknown quantity to a household name. As you will recall, the subsequent investigation into her exposure led to the recent perjury and obstruction of justice convictions of Scooter Libby, Vice President Cheney's former chief of staff. Everyone else in the administration who had leaked her identity to the media still untouched. Mrs. Wilson today recalling how it felt to see her identity exposed and her career destroyed. My name is Valerie Plain Wilson, and I'm honored to be invited to testify under oath before the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform on the critical issue of safeguarding classified information. I'm grateful for this opportunity to set the record straight. My name and identity were carelessly and recklessly abused by senior government officials in both the White House and the State Department. How did you react when you uh, learned that your identity had been disclosed? I found out very early in the morning when my husband came in and dropped the newspaper on the bed and said he did it. And I quickly turned and read the article and I felt like I had been hit in the gut. I've never uh, questioned a spy before. I've never testified uh, under oath before. I want to ask you now under oath, did you make the decision to send Ambassador Wilson to Niger? No. I did not recommend him. I did not suggest him. There was no nepotism involved. I didn't have the authority. In February of 2002, a young junior officer who worked for me came to me very concerned, very upset. She had just received a telephone call on her desk from someone, I don't know who, in the office of the vice president asking about this report of this alleged sale of yellow cake uranium from Niger to Iraq. Someone passed by. Another officer heard this. He knew that Joe had already, my husband, had already gone on some CIA missions previously to deal with other nuclear matters. And he suggested, well, why don't we send Joe? And as I was leaving, he asked me to draft a quick email to the chief of our counter proliferation division, letting him know that this was, might happen. I said, of course, and it was that email, Congressman, that was taken out of context, the, a portion of which you see in the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence Report of July 2004 that makes it seem as though I had suggested or recommended him. Do you believe there continue to be people, individuals in this administration who were involved in leaking the information about you? Yes, Congressman, as we know, for one, Carl Rove clearly was involved in the leaking of my name, and he still carries a security clearance to this day, despite the President's words to the contrary, that he would immediately dismiss anyone who had anything to do with this. We're joined now by a former CIA colleague and current close friend of Mrs. Wilson, Larry Johnson, also the former Deputy Director of the Office of Counterterrorism at the State Department. Thank you for your time tonight, Larry. Good to be with you, Keith. I understand that you had dinner with uh, Mrs. Wilson just last night. Let me name drop, say I talked to her last week. She was very focused on her testimony today. Tell me what you thought and what she thought she was hoping to accomplish by it today. Well, a group of us, not just myself, but a couple of other former classmates took her out last night to ease her uh, mind and she came in relaxed today and did a terrific job very poised very eloquent and demonstrated the kind of person that we've known now for over 20 years someone who uh, is very serious very patriotic very business minded and but uh, ultimately a tough person who's not going to just sit back and and take these kinds of attacks uh, lightly perhaps most significant in this and it and it obviously she overshadowed it for uh, for obvious reasons being the, this this is the first at length discussion of all of this from her but but in the hearing we also got on the record that the white house on the record on the current status of carl rove 
Uh, another witness who appeared after Mrs. Wilson, the director of the White House Security Office, confirming that no disciplinary action was ever taken against Mr. Rove, that he still has his security clearance, uh, that the CIA never investigated what happened to this valuable asset of theirs in, in Valerie Wilson. Is all of that as outrageous to you as it appears to be to uh, Valerie Wilson? The unfortunate thing, Keith, is the list of outrages with this administration mm. keeps growing by the day. You know, it's, you know, pick chapter and verse. So do we want to talk about wounded vets, betraying a national security asset like Valerie? Do you want to talk about firing eight uh, U.S. attorneys? I mean, it, you know, it's going on and on. And so what is clear is a consistent pattern of incompetence. And a, and a dereliction of duty, a fundamental dereliction of duty, instead of upholding their obligations to protect the United States, it seems as if they're hell-bent on sabotaging everything that is good about America. As to that litany of charges, we do have an hour here every night. Um, is there, I, I watch. <laughs> is there any question now after this though, over whether in leaking her identity, blowing her cover, that the administration officials did not just whatever damage they did to her and to her husband and to her kids, but to the agency? She was very circumspect in that re respect, but made it very clear the damage was not just to her, the damage was to a network of intelligence officers and foreign assets. And it is extensive. Uh, you know, obviously, the public will never be told the full dimensions of it, but there are those within CIA that know exactly uh, the harm that has been done. And, and that's one of the reasons it will probably never, hopefully, become public. The Republicans called uh, Victoria Tensing, the former uh, counsel to Senate Intelligence, who's been very outspoken about this, but wasn't really too good on the facts. She was adamant that nobody ever proved Valerie Plain Wilson was a covert CIA operative, very, very adamant about that. Why continue to carry this semantic debate going over the word covert, especially considering that Mrs. Wilson's book is being held up because the CIA will not even confirm that she worked for them before 2002, which would seem to be all anybody could ever need to know about how covert she was. The agency is still trying to be coy about her. I, I think it's time to do some uh, drug testing on Victoria Tunsing to find out what hallucinogens she's ingesting. I mean, for Pete's sakes, you have the CIA director, General Hayden, himself submit a statement that said Valerie was covert. Valerie testified under oath in the aftermath of the Scooter Lewis Libby trial where he, he got charged with perjury. She's under oath. She testifies under oath. I was undercover. I was covert. I was classified. So here you have two people affiliated with the CIA that say she's covert. And Victoria Tunsing, what does she know? She's never worked at the CIA, never been briefed by the CIA, and we take her opinion. The woman's a twit. And the, uh, uh, the prosecutor in the uh, in the Libby case, Mr. Fitzgerald, made a statement on the courthouse steps saying there's no question she was covert. In any event, Larry Johnson, formerly of the CIA and the State Department, and a friend and classmate of Valerie Plame Wilson. Great, thanks for some of your time tonight. Thanks so much, Keith.